I want to tell you one, one specific thing about the germ theory proposed by Pasteur, pasteurization, versus Beauchamp's theory of terrain. And I'll explain that word in a, a second. This all happened in the 1850s in France. They were competitors on science. With the invention of the microscope and the application of photography so we could see these germs and Pasteur looked under the microscope and he saw all these germs, they, parasites and bacteria and amoebas and things like that. And he proposed that that was causing disease. So the process of pasteurization, which it became to be known, was heating up liquids and food products to kill these bugs, but it also killed and denatured the proteins that he was trying to protect, such as milk. On the other side was Beauchamp. He said those bugs were there since eternity, and he's right. It was a host resistance. So he called that the terrain theory, meaning the bugs are there just because you can see them doesn't mean they're pathologic, harmful. So his theory was host resistance. Keep your immune system strong. He did not know exactly what that ingredient was that was causing the problem in the 1850s, but that item was sugar. If your body is full of sugar, those bugs will invade your body from fungus, bacteria, and you, we all know COVID-19, the viruses. And again, the people who got the sickest were the people who had the highest level of metabolic disease, such as diabetes. It's simple. It's sugar. And in another video, we'll go into real detail how you can stop being a host. Unfortunately, we went with the Pasteur approach, killing all the bugs. Big Pharma picked up on that, certainly antibiotics picked up on that, certainly vaccines picked up on that, to kill all the bugs. But they mutate, they create new pathogens, and we're really in a battle with our microenvironment. I'm not saying we don't need these things, when we get sick, certainly when we have infection, we do need antibiotics. However, on the other side, attention to our host resistance with good nutrition, that is really the key to staying healthy. Now, if you do get sick, we have an array of things now that are not antibiotics, oral medications. Red light kills viruses. It kills just about anything on a direct light. So we're gonna talk about that in how to be an urban carnivore.